Hello there, Leos. Welcome to your mid-June. Here is what I'm feeling. Um, it, it feels to me as if a lot of you might have um, extensively throughout your life or in this present you know, day and time, you are dealing with somebody who's a little bit like, they're, they're saying like OCD, very meticulous, very clean, very um, structured and organized. It's almost like they're, they're a little bit almost supernatural. Like they, they catch everything. They're really sharp. And um, they're through, you know, body language, they can show their disapproval. And, and they're just very strict. They want things to be a very specific way. And um, I'm sensing for some of you, this could be a sister a mother, somebody that you have lived with, you grew up with, and you, um, it's like you were afraid of them, you know, like you were afraid of their judgment, you were afraid of the scrutiny, and they're, they're not somebody that's, um, you know, that, that talks a lot, but they have a tendency to show disapproval with just, you know, the, the way they look, with body language, etc., so I feel like you were under somebody's thumb, okay? For others, this, this can be like a supervisor, a person that manages your work hours, a, a supervisor, a manager, or somebody that you worked extensively close with or under. And I feel like every day was, it, it just felt very challenging, mainly because it's it's almost like going going through your day waiting for the other shoe to drop waiting for them to you know what now what are they upset with now what's going on now like when are they going to yell at me today or what have I done already you know like when are they going to take it out on me so it just feels like there's that energy I feel like if that's the case um, what I feel is this it, it takes a very specific person to keep everything running and to keep the environment, I guess, like um, efficient, productive, and organized, right? So I feel like they do have, you know, like overall, there, there are some admirable traits about them that can make them a very good manager. So I feel like they, they have these qualities. Not all the qualities are great, but you have to admit they have some, some very strong qualities that gives them the ability to be very organized, to keep everybody in check, to keep the environment functioning. So for some of you, um, if it's a mother or like a sister for some of you, it keeps the environment, the household together. And for others of you, this is a supervisor or manager, it keeps the department free of drama. So I feel like like you are going to start to appreciate what they bring to the table and you're going to find ways to um, learn from them. So what I do feel though is uh, for the next two weeks, I feel like you're actually getting some compliments. You're getting some type of uh, compliments from this person and I feel like it's really going to make you feel good because you know if they're so perfectionistic and so critical um, when they see you doing things that are right or when they see somebody uh, doing things that are right and they compliment, you know it's sincere and you know it's trustworthy and you know that uh, you can trust them at face value. So I feel like there's going to be a softening of your energy when it comes to dealing with somebody like this, okay? Which I feel is really, really good for you. On top of that, we have some big financial um, help, uh, assistance or windfall coming through in your uh, money house. So this can be money coming through from family members, money coming through from somebody that you, um, like a commission check, a bonus check, money coming through from a financial institution too. So it could be tax return. It could also be a loan that you're waiting on if you're waiting on a loan and uh, just money coming through from family members as well. So I do see, you know, little droplets of money coming in for you and it's going to be good. Um, what I also feel is um, in your housing situation, this is the physical structure of the home. It seems to me as if there are some things that need fixing and um, you're waiting on the decision of another person. So it could be you're waiting on a bank for a loan. You could be waiting for your partner to decide. You could be waiting for whoever else. It is contractors even. So there's like constant waiting, waiting, waiting for something to uh, solidify so that you can get things fixed and they're saying that you know the waiting game is not going to happen you have to um, they're saying you have to move this in your favor so that means waiting isn't going to cut it you are going to need to be proactive and organize and mobilize a team or you know organize a team together to get something done okay and I feel like it's big housing repairs that's necessary so 
don't wait on other people just get it done because I feel like it might be a safety security issues okay if the the foundation or the roof is not stable it can create um, problems down the line so you want to take it get it taken care of early uh, what I do feel is there's a lot of appreciation that you're gonna feel like uh, you're gonna feel like at work things are the load is is lightening you're gonna feel quite good you're gonna feel like inspired again by the work that you do okay so I feel like a lot of you are a very hard worker you really care about other people you want to fight for the underdog you really care about you know improving justice and in conditions for everybody right and so I feel like you're going to be reminded of that, why you went um, into the career track that you've gone to. So if you have had lapses in uh, faith, crises in faith, for example, I feel that that's going to be restored. The last thing that I want to mention here briefly is a relationship. I feel like there's a relationship that is stagnant. A relationship stagnant meaning that... Um, you might not know where you and your partner are headed and you might feel you or your partner might feel like there's some uncertainty like the trust issues for example um, information being left out uh, discussions that needs to be had but one person shuts down the other person is evasive so I feel like there's some issues here in a love relationship that needs to be hashed out and I also feel especially for those singles it seems to me like you're clinging on to the memory of somebody and you're not moving on. And um, my advice here as well is um, for those of you who are out and about, you know, I, I feel like if you're a student, there's a lot of people um, vying for your attention. So schoolwork, okay? And, and then I do sense that in your uh, friendship environment, there are people that are vying for you. They're not exactly, you know, high quality but be careful but still you know there it's not like you're walking around without prospects I feel like there are a lot of people vying for your attention especially for those of you who are single so do the necessary reassessment for those in relationships figure out where the relationship is headed because I feel like you're with somebody and um, they don't really they're 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 either pushing you for you know more of a commitment but I feel like you're not ready you're happy with the way things are you're not willing or you're not able to do more so it feels to me like you you need to make some decisions here regarding relationships okay so I hope the reading has been helpful I'll be back for the July reading take care bye bye